G'day guys, Disney Dave coming at you once again from Down Under. I've got another collection video for you guys today. I thought it was a good time to turn my attention to another portion of my collection. Now this is a portion of my collection which I have delved into a little bit. I've done a few unboxings of some of these over the past 12 months, but there's still a few little gems in here that I uh, haven't shown off on the channel. So I thought, why not take the opportunity to go through the entire collection on a video since my Blu-ray and DVD collection videos are so popular. I am of course going to walk you through my entire collection of Disney vinyl records. These are not all Disney records. This is most of my complete vinyl records called Collection right there. I have a few Disney titles in there that I'm gonna pull out. Now I have got some Disney records, I've got some Marvel records, I've got some Star Wars records. I'm gonna do them in sort of sections. So why don't we start with the uh, Walt Disney stuff? Okay, let's start off with this one. This is one that I really, really love. This is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. This is a actually an original pressing from 1963. So this was pressed about 26 years or so after the movie was released. So it's not a original pressing, but it is an old pressing from Disneyland Records. Absolutely love this. There's the back right there. Music from the original motion picture soundtrack. Interesting fact, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs was actually the very first First movie to get its own soundtrack on vinyl. So there you go, I, I, I love to have this in my collection. This was actually owned by my grandmother. Uh, when she passed away a few years ago and we, we had to basically clear the estate and we were going through all of uh, her old possessions, I was going through a record collection and I found this one. Had no idea she had it. Being one of my all time favorite Disney films, this was just something really, really special to find. Uh, yeah, I cherish this record. Now another Snow White themed record here. This is, uh, what, what year is this from? This is from 1966. So this was pressed about three years after the one I just showed. I found this at a Goodwill store actually, at, at one of our Savers stores here. This is uh, Walt Disney Presents of the Seven Dwarves and their Diamond Mine. So it's one of those uh, old storyteller vinyl things. Don't you just love the old covers here? But one thing I didn't show is I love the old, old Disneyland records with these great labels here, with the Disneyland labels. Absolutely Absolutely fantastic right there. And my uh, original Snow White one has one of the old Disneyland record labels too. So cool. Now this is one I bought on eBay of all places. It is the original pressing of the soundtrack of Mary Poppins. This is so cool. I got obsessed with this movie a little while ago and uh, I just had to get a vinyl of the soundtrack because uh, the soundtrack and the songs I just love so much. Uh, there's the disc on that. It doesn't have a Disneyland records label. It's actually Buena Vista Records made in Australia by EMI. There you go. One of my, if not my absolute favorite Disney soundtrack of all time, Fantasia. Now this is a pressing, I think it must be from the 1960s or the 1970s, maybe even, oh, it's 1957 actually. This is only within 15 years of the movie actually being released. So this is quite possibly the, or one of the first pressings of this soundtrack on vinyl. I absolutely adore this. I imported this from Canada. Uh, the, the guy who sent it to me actually sent it by sea because it was cheap but I sent it. it took three months to arrive so inside we've got what is like it's not in the same vein as the old storyteller ones but it's just sort of a great making of thing well not even really making of it's just got these great like notes on the film and on the music absolutely adore this soundtrack so so much one of my favorite soundtracks in my whole collection it's a one uh, three LP release this like the Mary Poppins one has the uh, Buena Vista record label on it. I'd love them to do a modern repressing of this soundtrack. I really would. Again, absolute favorite soundtrack of any Disney music. But then again, I'm a, I'm a sucker for classical music. And uh, I've got another pressing of Fantasia here. This is just a really bizarre release. This was some sort of exclusive to a uh, record club here in Australia. Must have been, I don't know, 50s or 60s. It opens up. It's like this nice gold leaf box in there. It's a 3LP set. I don't think these are the original sleeves. Again, I bought this from eBay. I don't think they're the original sleeves. It's not a complete release, which is a little bit annoying. And it's got World Stereo label on there, uh, World Record Club. But yeah, apparently this is an Australian exclusive pressing. So it was just something that I just, I just had to simply grab for the collection. Inside there's a little booklet as well, which is sort of the same thing that's inside the, uh, the larger pressing of the actual record with some notes uh, on the music there. 
And here I have another couple of vintage Disney records, uh, Mother Goose and More Mother Goose. Now, which one? I think it was, uh, I think it was More Mother Goose is actually one of my mother's old records, which I found in her collection. So I, I pinched that and put it in with my collection. Again, another vintage Disney record there, another one of those uh, old storyteller ones. And we take the disc out, it's got that great old Disneyland record label on there as well. Uh, More Mother Goose nursery rhymes, this one, uh, it's actually a gatefold and it's got a little book well it's got a page or two of what would have been a, a full book in there uh, this one I actually got from a Goodwill store as well I usually wouldn't pick up something that seems so incomplete but because I had the uh, the second one here I thought well I gotta pick this one up and just sort of complete that collection there we go uh, this has got a different label on it actually it's another Disneyland label, but it's uh, got a bit of a rainbow on there. That's pretty cool. Don't know if I've ever pulled this out. It's quite scratched and lots of dust on that. I won't be playing that. And one last vintage one is this Mickey and the Beanstalk. Walt Disney presents the story of Mickey and the Beanstalk. Now this one was my mother's as well. It's got again a gatefold with a book and there goes some of the pages. These things obviously were not built to last for a very, very long time. Oh, it's a different label. It's a uh, it's a red Disneyland label right there. That's pretty cool. Okay, I've got two very special ones right here. These are the Walt Disney Storyteller vinyls. You've got the Lady and the Tramp one and the Alice in Wonderland one. These are actually uh, 50th anniversary replicas of the original vintage records, which are being offered by the Disney Emporium. You can still get them both on their website. This was a series of something like seven records. For some reason, Disney Music Emporium has only put two of them back into print, which is kind of annoying because I, I really, really wanted to collect the whole series of these. I really wanted the, the uh, Snow White one. I'll quickly show you the Lady and the Tramp one. Again, oh, it's a bit sticky. I'm not going to open it too far, but it's a gatefold and uh, a replica of those great old uh, Storyteller vinyls with the books. It's quite tight. Ooh. We've got a, a disc which has got a replica of one of those great old Disneyland Records labels right there. Very, very cool. Disney Music Emporium, if you're out there and you're watching, please, please, Please print more of these anniversary editions of the Storyteller Vinyls because I absolutely love these. Again, for more in-depth reviews on both, there are unboxings on my channel. They are some of the earliest videos I did, so they're quite long and I rant on a little bit. So uh, just be warned before you head over there. Now, another one from the Disney Music Emporium is this one here, Disney Favourite Songs. This was a Record Store Day exclusive from last year. This is just a compilation of some of the greatest songs from, from Disney Favourite films right from the 1930s up until now. The most recent song on there is Let It Go from Frozen. The record itself doesn't have uh, one of the Disneyland labels. It's just uh, just a generic Disney favorite songs label on there. Great record. Again, I've done a proper review for this on the channel. Okay, now we get to some more modern stuff. Now, this soundtrack is one that I don't really like all that much as a soundtrack. The music annoys me, quite frankly. But this is going to be one of the, if not, no, this is the most gorgeous, most amazing record collection I have in my entire collection. It is a soundtrack to Frozen. This is the deluxe edition soundtrack it's nice and shiny got this snowflakey like glittery oh i love it this is all embossed we open it up and it is just so so beautiful and it's a three panel gatefold right there and it is just chock full with amazing stuff first is a, a lovely little booklet on there uh, it's just notes on the music from the film this is basically an oversized printing of the of the booklet that came with the soundtrack actually this is an oversized printing of the actual deluxe edition soundtrack that came out on cd now my favorite parts about this is disc one is this gorgeous Gorgeous, icy blue, and you can see there's this nice little shimmer in that. Disc three, no, I'm gonna skip disc two for now because that's the really special thing. Clear vinyl, but it's got a nice little shimmer on it there. Absolutely stunning. I love this release so, so much. But my absolute favorite part of the entire set, and this is something I've only seen on two records. Actually, to be honest, this is something I've only seen on one record. Ooh. Can you see from there? It has got this amazing etching right there. I'm gonna get close up because I don't know if you can see. If you look at it closely, here we go. We got a light. It's got this amazing etching on there with both Anna and Elsa. Absolutely incredible. And this is on 
this is a playable record. You can actually play the music on this record. Like I said, I've only I've seen this twice. Uh, the second one was on a on the Batman vs Superman special edition vinyl. But the thing with that record uh, was that it was on a non-playing side of the record. It was on like a back side of the record that had no music on it. This one you can actually play the music that is on this. It's one of the most remarkable things I have ever ever seen and just to give you a better look at the at the front of that one nice and shiny again look at the nice sparkles and shimmers that are in this record absolutely astounding how much effort they actually put into this record this is one of the very very first special edition records i ever bought and it really 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 just got me obsessed with buying records Okay, from there, uh, this is one that I picked up recently. This was a Black Friday record store day exclusives. It is absolutely awesome. Again, a reproduction of an old record, the Mickey Mouse Club Mouseketeers vinyl. I'm guessing this would have been sent out to you if you were part of the Mickey Mouse Club. But something that's very special with this edition is this incredible picture disc. I just had to get it. How could I not get a picture disc with Mickey Mouse on it? This is a 10 inch record, I think. Absolutely love this. I'm so, so happy with this. Talking about picture discs, let's talk about picture discs. Uh, I've got a very small selection of the Disney soundtrack picture discs here. There's a few I'm missing like Snow White and The Jungle Book. Really want to get my hands on them at some point. But I do have Bambi, which is awesome. Sleeping Beauty, which is also awesome. Once again, adore this soundtrack. Again, I'm just, I'm showing my love for classical music. Cinderella. This is a really nice one as well. Not one of my favorite movies, but I, I got these really, really cheap from a seller on eBay. Same with Peter Pan. Not a favorite, but this guy was just selling these super cheap and I imported them by uh, the bulk load. Little Mermaid, so cool. Beauty and the Beast, absolutely adore this soundtrack too. Love it so much, Belle. Uh, there you go, Aladdin. Love Robin Williams. Toy Story, had to get this one. Absolute favorite computer animated movie of all time. One of the first movies I ever saw in the cinemas. Actually, the very first one I saw in the cinemas was The Lion King. Love this record, it's so cool. These were the very first two movies I ever saw in cinemas. I would have been about three and four years old when they came out. Tangled, had to get this, I adore this movie so, so much. Really nice picture disc there as well. And I like the soundtrack on that one. All right, that's all the picture discs. Now, I did speak about Record Store Day a couple of times. This is one I picked up from a record, the very first Record Store Day I ever went to actually, which was 2014, 2015. The Muppet Movie original soundtrack recording, I love it. It's from Walt Disney Records. I just had to, had to, had to, had to get this. I stocked up on great soundtracks that year. I also got the Pink Pan. Panther on pink vinyl, which was great. I can't remember if this has a color. No, it's just black, but I love the Muppets and I've listened, I actually have listened to it a couple of times. It's got a gatefold there. This is a uh, reproduction of the original uh, vinyl soundtrack right there. That year I also got uh, The Wizard of Oz on green vinyl, amazing. Well, that covers it for all my Walt Disney records. Next up, let's take a look at the Marvel records. I've only got a few of these. This one here was a limited edition Guardians of the Galaxy Awesome Mix soundtrack from Mondo. This was actually the first record I ever imported from Mondo. Screen printed vinyl sleeve. So awesome. So this is printed the same way they print all their uh, actual posters. And the record itself, Infinity Stone Purple. How cool is that? This is the first Holloway variant vinyl I ever picked up and I have played this to absolute death. And I don't know if you can see inside there, but the screen printing is so good. There's actually print inside. There is a, a little print there. Again, I don't know if you can see in there, but they actually printed inside the sleeve, which is astounding. Now they did press a wide release version of the score and the awesome mix, uh, which has got an awesome cover and a black vinyl, but I just haven't picked that one up yet because I have this and I don't know, one day I might pick it up if, if, I, if I come across it again. Iron Man 2 ACDC. This is just a really weird release in which ACDC did there were maybe three ACDC songs across the first two Iron Iron Man films and then ACDC who have never released a best of record ever were obviously approached by Marvel who said come on let's do like a collaboration and bring out a best of ACDC record and call it Iron Man 2 and sell it as if it's a soundtrack which it's not because there's probably two songs on here which are actually in the movie. Nothing special about the discs we got these uh, just ACDC uh, sleeves we got the uh, reactor there on the vinyl which is pretty cool but uh, other than that there's nothing
nothing incredibly, incredibly special about this release. It was really just a cash in to sell an ACDC record and to try and sell an Iron Man record even when it really wasn't. But I had to pick it up. I love Iron Man. I do like ACDC, a uh, great Australian band. And uh, this is actually another picture disc that I got on eBay as well. Captain America First Avenger soundtrack. Uh, it's a score actually uh, by Alan Silvestri. Yeah, I had to get the, the shield vinyl. How cool is that? Um, now I've done unboxings for these on the channel. I'm not gonna take them all out. These are Mondo releases as well, limited edition. I don't think you can get the color versions anymore. You can get black ones just like for regular sale. But these were limited editions on Mondo. I did Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and Daredevil soundtracks, the scores of obviously for each of these. Absolutely love these. This has got yellow vinyl, this has got red vinyl, and this has got purple vinyl. And that covers all the Marvel stuff. Now we just have a very small handful of Star Wars records. A few different versions of The Force Awakens. Again, I have done comprehensive unboxings for each single one of these records. We've got the, uh, the picture disc collection for The Force Awakens. A uh, record store day picture disc, which was like a soundtrack sampler for The Force Awakens from last year. I have seen this absolutely everywhere you can still get this one they obviously pressed heaps of them another picture this this isn't actually from disney this is uh 20th century fox music it's the original soundtrack to a new hope on picture disc which is quite cool i just thought i better pick it up it's my favorite star wars movie it's one of my favorite movies of all time even though i already had it in oh, this massive star wars vinyl collection I've not done an unboxing for this and I'm just gonna do it just really, really quickly because again, it's not Disney. These are through 20th Century Fox music. They're all black vinyl, so nothing incredibly special, but these are replicas of the original vinyls right there. You can buy these individually with gold, gold, gold records and they look so cool, but I just couldn't buy another version of them, especially when this box set cost me so much. And it's got the other soundtracks for the prequel trilogy in there uh, as well, which is quite cool. This is the first time I think Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith made their way onto vinyl. And look, that is, uh, that's it. That's all of my Disney records. And now I have to clean up this whole mess I have here. As I buy more records, obviously, I will continue to do reviews and unboxings of them all. I'm buying records all the time. Uh, eventually, one day I might start doing videos that aren't just specifically Disney, like I may go through the rest of my collection. Depends on whether that's what people want to see from this channel. But let me know, sound off in the comments below. I want to know, do you want me to start doing just, uh, you know, non-Disney stuff, non-Disney reviews for records, for Blu-rays, DVDs, movies, whatever just let me know sound off in the comments down below okay well i'm exhausted i'm sweating my back sore because i'm sitting on the floor here thank you all for watching me and sticking with me through this entire video if you are a first time to this channel this is the first time you've been on the channel first time you've discovered me and you like what you've seen please after the jump hit subscribe to all my regular viewers thank you once again for watching it's much appreciated as always to absolutely everybody i hope i will see you all again soon but until then though guys Take care, and I hope you have a magical day. Oh, oh my back, man. Look at this mess I've got to clean up now. Oh, man. What a mess. I've taken my microphone off. Sorry if the, the sound is terrible. Actually, looking through my mess on the floor here, I discovered this, which I didn't show off. I've done a video for this. This is the Force Awakens soundtrack. It's got this cool, like, hologram thing on it when you play the record. If you don't believe me, go and check out the unboxing review I did for this title. Whoops, I, I completely skipped over that. Don't know how, but there you go. Okay, see ya.